The United States is relaxing mask guidelines for more than 70% of the U.S. population. Despite the new mask guidelines, the federal mask requirement on mass transit and air travel has not been lifted. In this video, we talk about the new mask rules within the U.S. Check out where a mask is still needed. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention eased its recommendations for a face mask. The new recommendations mean that most Americans can go without wearing a mask. We're in a stronger place today as a nation, with more tools to protect ourselves and our community from COVID-19, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said. Instead of focusing on COVID-19 case numbers, the CDC is considering hospitalization rates and hospital capacity on a county-by-county -county basis. The new approach measures the need for masks by community levels and is a way to give people a break from mask wearing when levels are low, she said. Three new levels of transmission, high, medium, or low, have been designated and Americans can look up by county to determine the risk. Under the CDC's new approach, about 70% of the United States is considered low to medium risk and will no longer be advised to require face masks in any setting, including schools. Travelers can determine the risk in each destination they are traveling to in the United States by checking the CDC's new interactive chart. The link is in our blog post. Major travel-related agencies are calling on the Biden administration to end COVID-19 restrictions and regulations that inhibit the near $2 trillion U.S. tourism industry. Despite the CDC's new guidelines, dropping restrictions for 70% of the country, the federal mandate requiring face masks on planes, trains, and public transit also remains in place until at least the 18th of March 2022. The CDC's latest update is intended for communities, not for travel, Walensky said. The group cited key figures to back their request, noting that business travel spending was approximately 50% below 2019 levels, and international travel spending was down a staggering 78%, compared to 2019. The group specifically requested the following. Removal of pre-departure testing requirements for all fully vaccinated inbound international arrivals. Repeal the federal mask mandate for public transportation networks or provide a clear roadmap to remove the mask mandate within 90 days. End avoid travel advisories and the use of travel bans. Work with other countries to normalize travel conditions and entry requirements. By the 1st of June, develop benchmarks and timelines for a pathway to the new normal that repeals pandemic-focused travel restrictions. Send a clear message to the American public and the world that it is safe to travel again, particularly for vaccinated individuals. This industry group remains ready to assist the Biden administration in advancing these necessary endemic era policies and restoring the U.S. travel economy, according to the letter. What are your thoughts on this issue? Do you think the US will remove the travel restrictions soon? Talk to us in the comments section below. 
If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.